Okay, so we'll start with the massages. If you'll just come through to the French cafe, there'll be some waivers to fill out and robes waiting for you. And you can just leave your clothes in a pile by the back door. I was telling you about Norm. You're not having man parties in here again, are you? No. What's going on in here? Are you are you running a business in here? A gym. We have all this equipment because we're trying to be healthier. 30 bath towels? I have overactive sweat glands. Good to know. Who's she? She's not on the lease. She's my girlfriend. I guess those man parties didn't take, huh? What the hell? I'll go stall the customers. Be back in a sec. <laughs> Oh, when I'm anxious, I recreate the waters of my birth. My mother had a very turbulent womb. Who's this? He's my boyfriend. Don't tell Judy. Can I tell Judy? No. What's up with the sign? Oh, that's just good hygiene. Because, you know, athlete's foot and tinkle toe are two of the most aggressive shower maladies. So you are running a business in my apartment? Frankly. With only two customers, one of whom is homeless. The word business, it's a bit of a stretch. Look, Mr. Norm, we're agoraphobic. We can't go outside, so we're trying to bring the world into our apartment. This is the only way we can do it. How's this? You let us keep the spa, and we'll cut you in. Running a business in a residential apartment is against the law. I do not do anything illegal. But I am okay with being sketchy. So I'm just going to raise your rent $400 a month. Have a good day. What a great first day. We have a new partner who does nothing and two customers. But it'll grow. These two people will tell two more people. And then we'll have four old people. Erwin, it doesn't bother me that you're being pessimistic. It does bother me that you're finger circling my bra strap. Just want to let you know that I think I left my pinky toenail in the sauna. <laughs> Never mind. I found it. 